Hi guys and welcome to Gem Swirl Studio the Academy. I'm Gem and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a full red rose coffin or casket spray. And what we're going to be using today is a single oasis tray, a pre-soaked oasis block, I'm going to use some floristry tape, floristry scissors, 40 scented red Naomi roses, we've got some eucalyptus to add a little bit of texture and we've got a couple of packets of leather leaf fern here. And I'm just going to start off by using the leather leaf. I find this to be the best foliage to use as a base because it's already half diamond shape and that is the shape that we want to create with the coffin spray, so in a diamond shape. So I just cut it down to our desired length and put it at one of the ends and then do exactly the same with this leather leaf and put it at the other end. So whatever we do on this side, we're going to do on that side. Then I'll go round to the middle, put that one there, and as you can see, these lines and points are going in that diamond shape. And then the other side, making sure when you do put them in, the stem is right at the bottom of the oasis where it meets the oasis tray, so there's no gaps at the bottom of it. So when it does it go when it does go on to the coffin then there will be no gaps, you can see, and it sits nicely onto the coffin. Okay, then we shall just go off in the other directions like so. Turn it round and do exactly the same on the other side. Okay, so now we have got our first layer and if you can see it's in the diamond shape. So once we've got that we can then put our next layer on, it's going to be exactly the same as the first layer. So just literally just layer it on top. Like so, obviously with shorter stems because we're going to get shorter as we go up into the centre. So it's nice and even. Okay. I can smell those Naomi roses. I'm normally um, like scent blind to flowers because obviously I smell them all day, every day. But with the red Naomi's, I can always smell those. One of my favourites. And with the white Naomi's, I, I tend to not think that they smell as nice as the red ones, oddly enough. Okay, so as you can see, I'm going smaller until I get to the centre. And when we do get to the centre, we just bring up our leather leaf a bit more at an angle so that it has a nice spiked top sort of effect. And it's got enough depth into it. Now, as you can see, this is all like a dark green colour tone. So I am going to come in with the eucalyptus. This is a nice long stem to eucalyptus and it will just bring other colours and texture to it. It's got a lovely silver colour to it. So I'm just going to start off by just cutting little pieces down. Now when you do cut these down, they've still got foliage on the bottom which won't stick into the oasis. So all you simply need to do is just run your hand down so you've got a nice bit of clear stem so it can go thoroughly into the oasis. So when I'm training um, my employees, I always go around and see if they have definitely taken these bits off, otherwise they're going to fall out. Okay, then we're just going to go in the same sort of lines as we did with the leather leaf. Don't go any smaller, larger, we just all want it to be the right size. Matching the size of what we have done with the leather leaf. as you can see it's just brought a lot more like depth and structure it just makes it look really nice and more packy really so we'll just go around with these little bits of eucalyptus until we think we have got enough in there Now 
Now, as you can see here, we've got all our lovely foliage base on there in the diamond shape. I've used about half a packet of eucalyptus. And now is the time to get on with our red Naomi roses. So if you can see any like small gaps in, um, in the foliage where you can see the waves, it doesn't matter because they're going to be covered with the red Naomi roses. So I'm going to start off with our faux flower and just pop it into the middle here. So it's nice and central. Now on the camera, it doesn't look that central, so. Yep, just like that. Okay, then we are just going to go down in lines, basically. So that, so the center one's there, and then we go down to the next level. And our roses, our rose stems will actually get shorter as we go down. Now it is nice to put the downcoming roses at an angle as well, so that one will be facing me, and then the next one will be facing that wall, just to add some more texture to it. So I normally go uh, from the centre, two roses, and then a long stemmed rose, just to go on the end of the coffin spray. So that it's about the same length as where this leather leaf stops. We're just going to go around and do exactly the same on the other side. Okay. So then what I like to do is just come down from the centre, this side as well. So just one there and one here so it comes out the same sort of length as that leather leaf does and then we'll do exactly the same on the other side And then we're going to come down in lines this way as well. And the other side. And then do exactly the same on the other side as well. So now we've made the main lines on our coffin spray with the roses, but we still have another bucket full of the red roses. So we're just gonna put these into the gaps that we can see, but nicely distribute them like we did with the whole line process. And here is the finished red rose spray. Now if you did have any other eucalyptus bits or anything you want to put in, if there's any gaps left, then please do. But this is what your spray should look like. Yes, I can hear the water at the bottom, but that's absolutely fine. It means it's nicely soaked. And if this video was helpful, please like, comment and subscribe and we will see you in the next video.